viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. Last video, I have explained you about the introduction to the subject operation research. What is the meaning of the term operation research? What are the definitions for operation research? What is the origin development phases of operation research that I have explained in the last video? Now, in this video, I'm going to explain you about programming problems. In examination, normally they will ask a theory question regarding what do you mean by programming problems? What are the different types of programming problems like linear programming, non-linear programming, integer programming, goal programming, dynamic programming, different types of programming are there. But in this video, two types of programming I am going to explain, linear, non-linear programming and integer programming. But before learning the type, First of all, we must know what is the meaning of the term programming problem. So before proceeding further, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, <clears throat> many business and economic situations are concerned with problem of planning activity. Remember, planning is the first function of management. So every business, every economic situation has to make the planning. In each case, there are limited resources. Most often, we find in business and economic situations where we have limited resources. And these limited resources have alternative uses. If we are using in one I mean, activity, the resource may not be available for doing another activity. So, first of all, the resources are scarce. Secondly, the resources can be used in multiple uses. In that case, the management has to take the decision how to allocate the scarce resource in order to attain a given objective so here in each case there are limited resources at the disposal and the problem is to make such use of resources so as to yield maximum production or minimize the cost of production or give maximum profit etc some of the objective is there of the business the business wants to maximize something or to minimize something Example, the production has to be maximized, the sales has to be maximized, profit has to be maximized. Whereas in other circumstances, we can say the cost has to be minimized or time has to be minimized or distance has to be minimized. This is the objective. In order to attain that objective, limited resources are there. How to utilize those limited resources is the concern of programming problems. Such problems are referred to the problems of optimization. That means this type of problems where we have scarce resources and these are to be used to attain the given objective is called optimization problem. Then programming is just another name for planning and refers to the process of determining a particular plan of action among several alternatives. Decision making is concerned with choosing among the alternatives. So here programming problems means planning or deciding which course of action to be selected out of a number of alternative situations. Hence the term programming refers to the process of determining a particular program or plan of action. Every management is confronted, is having so many alternatives. Out of those alternatives, anyone has to be selected. That requires planning. So programming is nothing but a plan of action, choosing among the alternatives. So this is the complete explanation about programming. Now there are different types of programming. The most important and widely used programming problem are linear and non-linear programming. In the coming videos, we are going to solve the problem on this linear programming problems, LPP. So here linear programming is one of the most widely used quantitative technique in situations demanding decision making. Out of so many programming problems, 
the most widely used programming problem is linear programming and this linear programming is an optimization technique in order to take the decision where the resources are limited it is used to make an optimal utilization of available scarce resources in order to maximize the stated benefit or to minimize associated cost so what is this linear programming it is used to make optimum utilization of scarce resources suppose if we have unlimited resources there is no need of planning there is no need of selecting there is no need of programming but unfortunately in this whole world we don't find any place where we have abundant resources every case the resources are scarce so how to utilize those scarce resources in order to attain a given objective the objective may be maximizing the profit or minimizing the cost linear program is a mathematical technique actually in linear programming we apply mathematical model we solve the equations mathematically so it is a mathematical technique for determining the optimal allocation of resources and obtaining a particular objective when there are alternative uses of resources the resources are not only scarce but also resources have alternative uses just like i'll give the example of funds finance money money first of all is scarce we don't have unlimited money we have limited money and that limited money also can be used in different alternatives so multiple uses are there so is it's a situation linear programming is a mathematical technique of applying uh, applying the programming problem in order to achieve a given objective when the resources are scarce and also resources have multiple uses it is optimum optimization technique why it is called optimization because by applying this linear programming technique we are optimizing the problem we are finding out the better solution to a given problem it's a technique for specifying how to use the limited resources or capacities of a business to obtain a particular objective such as least cost highest margin or least time when resources are alternative uses different objectives are there the objectives are minimize the cost maximize the profit minimize the time in order to achieve this objective we are using the resources and the resources are limited and they have alternative uses now the word linear now i am coming to the main point what do you mean by linear linear means the proportional that means the variables in the problem are proportional directly proportional the word linear is used to describe the relationship among two or more variables which are directly proportional see here in every production so many resources are used the resources are material men machines time all these are the resources and these resources will have a direct proportional relationship for example if you want to produce one unit 2 kg material is required so if you want to double the production the material will be doubled if we triple the production the material will be tripled so there is direct relationship if there is a direct relationship then we can say it's a linear relationship so in any problem if the variables have a relationship which is directly proportional then we call it as linear program for example here i am trying to explain you regarding by taking an example for example if doubling the production of product will exactly double the profit and required resources then it is called linear relationship very simple if you double the production your profit will be doubled and the resources required will also be doubled when production is doubled the resources are doubled profit is also doubled that is called linear relationship now the word programming means planning of activities in a manner that achieves some optimal result with restricted resources so here again the meaning of the word programming planning 
planning of the activities to be undertaken so as to attain a given objective when the resources are restricted or scarce. The term non-linear. So far I have explained you about linear programming. Now what do you mean by non-linear? It's exactly opposite. That means in linear programming we have a direct proportional relationship between the variables. If we don't have directly proportional relationship, it will become non-linear. <clears throat> For example, if we multiply the production by four times, our profit is increasing by five times. It is called non-linear because it is not proportional. We are doubling, suppose we are doubling the production, our profit is becoming three times, triple. It's called non-linear. So when the relationship among the variables is not directly proportional, then we call it as non-linear programming. Usually refers to problem in which the objective function becomes non-linear or one of more of the constraint inequalities of non-linear relationship. That means non-linear relationship will be either in the objective function or the non-linear relationship will be there in the resources which are used. In actual practice, such situation occurs in a purely linear relationship may not exist in the profit or cost function when production levels vary. In many practical situations, we find non-linear relationship. It is not compulsory that when sales are doubled, profit will also be doubled. There may be some synergical effect where profit will grow at a higher rate than the rate of sales, than the rate of production. So in many practical situations, we come across where the relationship may not be linear. For example, production cost and revenue vary non-linearly with the scale of operation. The cost. The cost consists of fixed cost and variable cost. The fixed cost will remain same whatever be the level of activity, but variable cost will change. So if we combine fixed cost and variable cost, we'll get the total cost. The total cost will not be proportional to the level of activity. Suppose the level of activity is doubled, it is not necessary that total cost will also be doubled. The total cost will be lower. In that case, the profitability will be more. This is a real practical situation. And that situation is called non-linear situation. That's all. So I have explained you about linear programming and non-linear programming. Now I am coming to the next topic, integer programming. The word integer means non-fractional, that means whole number. So the integer linear programming problem are the special class of LPP where all or some of the variables in the optional optimal solution are restricted to non-negative integer value. This integer programming problem is a special class of the linear programming problem only where there is a restriction that the objective function, that the variables in objective function will take a non-negative value. Non-negative value means it may be zero or positive. That means the final variables which we are going to calculate will be in whole number. The fractional number should not be accepted or it is unrealistic. Then in that case we apply integer programming. So a LPP in which all or some of the decision variables are constrained to assume non-negative integer value is called integer programming problem. This paragraph is very very important. So it is a linear programming problem only. This integer programming is also a linear programming problem. But there is a restriction. The restriction is the decision variables will be non-negative or the decision variables will be in integer value. That means whole number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. We don't the, get the fraction or we go, don't get the negative. This type of problem is of particular importance in business and industry where quite often the fractional solutions are unrealistic because the units are not divisible. In many practical business situations we come across where the units are non-divisible. Example AC. In AC manufacturing, the producer can produce one unit of AC, two unit of AC, three unit. Can the producer produce one and a half unit 
can the producer produce 0.75 unit no fractional unit is unrealistic see in this in those situation where fractional values are unrealistic we cannot apply directly linear programming problem we want the special class of lpp called integer programming problem now for example it is absurd to speak of 2.3 men working on a project or 8.7 machines in a workshop here example is given the resources men and machines the men and machines will always be in whole number we cannot say that 8.3 men will be used or 6.7 machines will be used it is completely absurd we don't have fractional men we don't have fractional machines the machines and men are in a whole number so in this type of situation we have to apply integer programming problem the integer solution to a problem can however be obtained by rounding of the optimum values of the variables to the near, ne, next nearest integer value one technique is after getting the decision variable values suppose if it is in fraction now we can round it off to the next integer value for example in the programming problem we got number of men are 9.8 or 9.9 .9. but number of men cannot be 9.9 9.8 so we round it off to the next integer value that is 10 but this type of rounding off of the values will not give the complete optimal solution because randomly we are rounding off but we need some technique where we can get accurate answer accurate solution to those problems where non negative values should not occur so but it is generally in inaccurate to obtain integer value by rounding off in this manner in this manner if we round off we won't get the optimum solution in a linear programming problem if all the variables are required to take integer values then it is called pure ipp suppose if the restriction is all the variables in the problem should be in integer no variable should be in uh, i mean non integer in that case it is called pure integer programming problem that means all the variables should be integral value but if some of the variables are restricted to integral values whereas other can assume any real value the problem is called mixed integer programming problem the integer programming problem is divided into pure and mixed pure means when all the variables must be integers where some variables are integers and some variables are any value any real value in that case it is called mixed integer programming problem so there are several frequently occurring circumstances in business and industry that need to planning models involving integer valued variables so practically we can see many businesses many industries are there where the variables cannot take negative value the variables will always be integers or whole numbers now this is the main reason why integer programming is so important for managerial decisions so in many industries it is applied this technique in order to find out the optimum solution that's why integer programming is more important in many industries and businesses so this is the end of this video in this video i will explain you about what are programming problems what is linear non linear and what is integer programming in short in the next video we will discuss about uh, dynamic programming goal programming and managerial applications of these programming problems in short so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel among your groups among your friends so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue our discussion on this programming problem in the next video